Hi, I'm Julia Clausen. I'm an 11th grader at Bella Vista High School, and this is my Spirit of San Juan story. Julia is very thoughtful in that she makes sure that she thinks of every possible student, every person who does not have a voice in the conversation. She makes sure that they have a voice. She always has a positive attitude. She reads people and sees how they're feeling, checks in with people. She is very, very personable. She is an advocate for others. She focuses on making sure that every student feels seen, valued, and recognized. For example, she is a major part of our Superintendent Student Advisory Council. And this year, the initiative of that council is to support our English learners. And she has been a big part of trying to create peer support for those students. She's also co presenting at SCOE's first ever SEL and wellness conference. She's one of three candidates right now running for the State Board of Education student seat. To me, a, a large part of removing barriers is creating access points. Uh, for people to enter into community. She is really always thinking um, about uh, ways that people can engage, um, ways to invite them in, um, and ways to reduce any kind of obstacle to that. She's constantly making me feel better about myself, constantly promoting me to do my best and everybody else around her. I believe that before you're an advocate, you have to be a listener. Um, and so that is really my day-to-day -day goal, is to listen to my community, keep my finger on the pulse of what's going on. Because in many spaces, I am an advocate, but I cannot be a great advocate if I'm not a great listener. And so I think that is the most important thing to do. If you have an opportunity or if a door is open to you, it's your responsibility to walk through that door and then hold it open for others. Julia joined Writing Club at Bella Vista as a sophomore. At the end of that year, uh, Julia um, agreed to to present with the Writing Club at a conference. Uh, we presented about our experiences with the Writing Club and how that connected to good pedagogy in the classroom. And that's where her dream of the San Juan Unified Literary Magazine was born. And I was inspired um, by the feedback we received. So then I approached Lori Vine, who I work with on the Superintendent Student Advisory Council. And then she connected me with the incredible Amy Day, along with uh, one of my mentors, Miss Rachel Wynn, really um, helped me make my dream a reality and made it happen. Without them, it wouldn't have been possible. And when I work with mentors, it really makes me feel like anything is possible possible and that the dream that I had last summer um, could be turned into a tangible literary magazine that now we have representation from all the high schools in the district, um, different students writing in their native languages, and different art pieces that are shared. Julia makes me feel proud to be an educator. I look at Julia and I can see that we are in really good hands as a district and as a country because I know she is going to go on to do great things. I am just waiting to hear of Julia making it big in Washington, D.C. The sky is the limit for Julia. I am just so proud and I'm so grateful that I had the opportunity to be able to work with her through this literary magazine process. And just, I don't know, she is definitely, Julia is the highlight of my week. Julia makes me feel valued and um, she also makes me feel I can make real change. Not only am I proud to be able to work with a student like Julia, but I feel like our community is in good hands when we have the young people engaging in the way that Julia does. She creates change everywhere she goes. She makes connections everywhere she goes. I couldn't be more privileged than I am to work with a student like Julia, and that's why we nominated her, because she is a change maker at her core, and I can't wait to see what she does.